Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to do a book review. The best book, in my opinion, on econometrics and statistics that you would use the most frequently in risk management is a book called Introductory Econometrics, A Modern Approach. This is the fifth edition. Um, this is by Jeffrey M. Waldridge. This is by far, I mean, you can see it's a thick book. And like the pages are pretty thin. But the thing is, this is the book I use more than any other book. Um, I take this to work with me, and if I actually have a lockable um, a bookcase, which I don't currently have, but when I've had it other places, I take this with me everywhere. So let's dive into this book and explain the different parts, give you a brief summary, and then I'll show you more or less what makes this book so much better than other statistics books, econometrics books. All right, so first off, all of my books have my name on the inside because I absolutely love my books. Uh, this book, I believe, is over $100. It's like $100, $150. Um, I'll put in the comments below like a link to the book if you want it. I'm sure there are newer editions of this book, but it is an expensive book, but it's probably the one-stop shop for anything you would ever need in risk management. All right, so this book is broken out into three main parts. Uh, the first part is uh, regression analysis with cross-sectional data. So this is like your very, very basics, your OLS, um, your regressions, your multivariate regressions, stuff like that. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of chapters you can see which get into like the very basics and good things. So like there's t uh, the simple regression, there's multi-regression analysis estimation, there's multiple regression analysis inference, multiple regression analysis OS assumptions, and it keeps going and it gets down to doing different stuff such as more on specifications and data issues. So I think this book covers all of your basics that you're going to learn in your stats 101 class but it's going to do it deeper it's going to get into like the data issues the problems behind it and then also something i love about this book is it starts off with the simplest model possible which is ols and then it starts telling you like these are the basic assumptions and then it goes into explaining why those assumptions are broken and how you get to other topics so for example why would you use a feasible generalized least squares um, over a just OLS. So there's a reason. You can't just go out and pick and say like, ah, oh, I want to do a feasible generally squares. And people do this. But again, this book helps train you, I think, in the fact that you need to do things linearly. You need to test the assumptions. And then it explains to you when assumptions fail, basically where to go. And it gives you all the information and basically all of the solutions you would need to solve your problems. Um, the second section, though, is the regression analysis with time series data. So time series is not understood by hardly anybody. Um, a lot of people take time series in econometrics. So I do a brief overview of like Arima and Garch, and then it kind of fades off, and then you forget it all, and they don't really go into the details, and I don't think a lot of professors can explain to you. Um, a lot of the assumptions and why you need them, for example, having a strict exogeneity versus weak exogeneity, which comes down to being able to use the stationarity for testing and going through these assumptions. Um, a lot of books don't do a good job at doing this, but I think this book does a really good job at doing that. And then as you go through, it talks about fundamental issues in using OLS with time series data. And again, it goes through this linear process. Like if you don't have serial correlation, you should o use OLS to do the regression. If you do have serial correlation, then you should go on to looking at an ARIMA model, then you should go on to testing stationarity. And so it goes through these steps linearly as you read the book. And so I think this book is great because you can jump to a topic like, okay, I just need to do time series. And yeah, it's gonna be a lot of reading because it's a big book, but it covers everything in such great detail. Uh, I think it's a great resource to use in your professional life as well as your education and academic life. And then the third part is the advanced topics. So this starts talking about like pooling cross-sectional uh, data and doing panel data methods, advanced panel data, uh, instrumental variable estimation, and two-stage least squares. And so it gets into these nitty-gritty details. And a lot of people say, well, like, Dimitri, I just want to learn something quickly. I think this book can do that. Like you can jump to what you want to learn. You can read through it quickly and it does a really good job at explaining exactly why you need things and how you should do things. And so I think even though it's big and scary because it has all these pages, it's actually a better book. So one of the things I absolutely love about this book is the fact that it lists out the assumptions explicitly. It does not like hide them in the text somewhere. And so if you look at this book here, 
Um, here's a good example. Um, here's your assumptions for simple linear regression. So it goes from one to two, and you can see I have this bookmarked is yes, even though I know most of these, and even though I don't use this very often for OLS, you still need to be able to go back and review something. And as you turn the page, it discusses like why you need that assumption, and then it goes on to the next assumption. And then it explains why you need that one, and it goes on to the next assumption and explains it. So again, if you need to look up something, for example, you don't understand why multicollinearity is important, you can jump to the multicollinearity assumption, find it quickly, read exactly why it's important, and then be done. You have your information. You don't need to spend hours and hours digging. And again, like I said, time series is huge. People just don't understand it. Um, I've been working in banks for a while. I've been working in academia. I've talked to professors. There's a lot of people that don't really understand this. So as you can see, I have this bookmarked and all of my books I highlight in and I take notes because I always go back to these and reference the same things over and over and over again. Um, so for example, here are the time series assumptions and you can see I actually highlight the material. So if you actually scroll through this book, you can see that I highlight more of it as we get going. And again, it explains why you need these assumptions, which I think most books don't do a very good job of but it has all the math as well. So this is like a encompassing everything in one book, which I think makes it so valuable. And I think it's worth spending the $100, $150 um, to actually buy the book because it has everything you will need. So you don't need to go out there and buy a book based on like statistics or simple linear regression, and then go out and buy a time series book. And then if you jump over to like a mixed effects model, you don't have to go out and buy a book for that. Like everything is in one book. Like this book is like the most important econometric book and you can quickly see like as I flip through a lot of these pages in here, especially in like the time series sections, um, I highlight a lot, I read this a lot. Um, this book is by far my favorite book of all econometrics, stats books, anything because it tells you the details like I mentioned. It does it in a linear process. It's super clear, it's super crisp. Um, it's a great resource to show people like, hey, you don't agree with me on X, Y, and Z. We're doing a validation, we're doing model development. So when I was a developer, um, the bank I worked at used this extensively. So if we could prove it in this book, we could do it. And so I think it's important to have books. Uh, I would actually encourage you guys to go buy this book. I don't care if you buy it used or new or whatever. I prefer to buy mine uh, new, but you can see this book has taken like a lot of beating. The corners are like busted up. The pages are highlighted, it's written in. But this is by far my number one book. I would encourage all of you to actually get this book if you don't already have it or you're looking to learn econometrics, statistics. Um, and even in risk management, we use this every single day because we're always building stats models. So this book, in my review, I'd give a five out of five stars. Um, it covers everything in great detail. Uh, I'll try to list below in the comment or in the description uh, all the different topics that the book has so you can see what you are getting. But I think this does cover almost everything you would ever use, um, excluding like machine learning and all the newer kind of things. But this covers almost everything else. So I definitely recommend this book. I hope you guys enjoy this video as this is the very first book review I'm doing. Uh, please leave me comments below. Do you like the review? Is it enough detail? Is it too much detail? Let me know what you guys think. And as always, until next time. Thanks for watching my video. If you find it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe.